Booking forms contain the questions that your bookers will be asked after they select tickets for your event and enter checkout. On Bookwen, bookers will always be asked for a booker email address once per booking. There are three types of booking field. Attendee fields, which will be asked once for each attendee that has been added to the booking. That's each person who has a ticket to attend the event. Booking fields, which will be asked once per booking. You might use a booking field to ask how a booker heard about your event, or if they would like to sign up for your newsletter. Ticket fields, which ask for details specific to the tickets selected for an event. Remember, an attendee field will be asked once per attendee, but that attendee may have multiple tickets across different events. If you need specific information about specific tickets, for instance, a menu choice, a ticket field is probably the best option. Booking forms are customizable, so you can ask any question you want and receive the answer in many different ways. This is covered later in the video. Click on the time code links in the description to skip ahead. Booking form fields are selected in the booking form section of your entry, which you can access after selecting a date from your admin schedule and clicking edit entry. As with all changes you make to your entry settings, any edits to the booking form will apply to all dates that you have set up in the dates and times section of the same entry. The first time you visit the booking form section of your entry, you will see three fields which have already been created. As discussed, the email address in booker details is required for every booking. The full name and attendee email fields can be removed, but they are special system fields, which means that they inform various other parts of Bookwen, including the customer's record and the attendee list. It's recommended to use special fields over fields you have created yourself to gather this information. It's possible to change the field label of a special field, and this will ensure that the collected information is still used in the areas I just mentioned. Name and email fields you have created yourself will not be included in the same way. To avoid double bookings, Bookwen requires the attendee email field to be unique this means that the same attendee email cannot be entered twice on the same event. If your bookers are unable to provide an attendee email address, you may consider removing the field from your booking form or making it non-mandatory so they can continue the booking without entering any information. Child attendees are also not asked for an attendee email address. Follow the timecode link in the description to see more about child-specific booking forms. The Field Options section lets you select and reorder the fields that are included. Clicking the plus sign adds a question to the form, the minus sign removes it, and you can reorder fields by clicking and dragging the three-line hamburger icon. You can set mandatory fields to determine which questions must be answered by bookers before they can complete a booking. Bookers can leave non-mandatory fields blank and still complete their booking. Fields that are set to be mandatory are indicated with a red asterisk symbol. Clicking on create a new field type will add another question to the booking form section of your entry. First, decide which of the three field types, attendee, booking or ticket you would like to create. The field label appears next to the area where your booker enters their answer. It should describe the information you want to collect. Additional help text appears underneath the field. It isn't always required, but if you think your bookers will benefit from further instruction about what is needed, this is a good place to provide it. Example input appears as greyed out text within the booking form field and can give your booker a hint about the type of answer that is expected. The field data type drop down menu lets you determine in which format your booker can answer the question you have set up. 
The best choice here depends on the type of question you are asking. You may use a plain text, single line format field if you want bookers to type in a short answer. This would apply, for instance, if you ask someone to provide the name of the person who referred them to your event. If you need a date of birth, a date selection field would be better. Or, to give your booker a few options to choose from, like a lunch selection, just set up one of our multiple choice fields. A mandatory checkbox is useful if you need to confirm a statement before allowing the booker to complete a booking. For instance, you may create a field with the label please check this box to indicate that you are not displaying any COVID-19 symptoms. If this is made mandatory in your entry, it will not be possible for anyone to book without confirming their status by checking the box. Details of the other booking form field types can be found in our booking form help article, which is linked in the video description. Booking fields can also be created via your setup menu. Setting up a field here is largely the same as from the booking form section of your entry except for a couple of extra options. From this page, you can edit an existing field or create a new one by clicking add a new field type. You can add an attachment alongside your booking form field. This could be a waiver that you are asking customers to sign, a health and safety form or something else. Click on the upload button to add your attachment. If the file has already been uploaded, just select it from the drop down menu to attach to the booking form field. The attachment will appear to your bookers underneath your field in the booking form. You can add the field you are working on to all entries on your schedule, or remove from all entries, or select do nothing to make no changes to the events on which the question will be asked once you've saved. Clicking on create or update field will finalize your changes. Child-specific booking forms help you to conform to data privacy regulations when collecting attendee data regarding children. These can be set up in the booking form section of your entry. If children will be attending your event, then check yes. If the event is marked as a child-only event, then all attendees will be considered children. But if you leave this box unchecked, the booker will be able to indicate whether an attendee is an adult or a child when completing the booking form. Child attendees will not be asked to provide an attendee email address, and their customer record in Bookwen's customer list will be linked to the booker email address that was provided on their booking. You can find guidance for everything discussed in our help centre or reach out to our support team for assistance. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to be notified each time we publish more guidance.